Now this is as far as the inductive load is concerned. Now when I bring it to the linear load, you see now the voltage and current are exactly in line with this. Automatic power factor correction using Arduino Uno or APFC using Arduino Uno. Let's try to understand this circuit first. After that we will go into more details about its functioning and the code. We have an Arduino here and then uh, that is the, the, the main controller and we have for the purpose of getting some reference voltage reference we have a step down transformer here from 230 to 12 volt and so and then we have a bridge rectifier which is giving pulsating DC. This is not filtered only pulsating DC. That pulsating DC written here BVP here that VP comes here and then with a potential divider it is given to this uh, comparator and it is compared against a diode drop of 0.6 volts and in the process we get some zero voltage reference here or zero voltage pulses here. Similarly for the current we have the inductive load or we have a, when, you, when the switch is this side we have the inductive load when the switch is bypassed then the, it becomes a resistive load. So with this inductive load the, uh, the, it passes through the city that the current transformer same thing it develops an AC voltage which is given to a bridge rectifier which develops uh, pulsating DC and that pulsating DC exactly like the voltage reference is given to the current reference here also it is again compared against a 4148.6 volt diode and in the process you get the current reference also. That is when in the actual circuit is operating. In order to ensure that yes we really get the voltage reference and current reference and then accordingly the capacitor. These are the capacitors which will be switched on by the relays. The relays are driven by this ULN2003 which is connected from the output of the Arduino. And these relays are, have some shown some capacitors but actually since this a simulation software we will not be able to bring these capacitors into any action. They are just for the purpose of some demo we have shown it. These capacitors are not going to come into action. We can only see how the relays are getting switched on by switching by these uh, LEDs which will be glowing based on the relays being switched on and then the contact will be obviously change from NC to NO. It will just automatically change to NC to NO. And so this is the actual arrangement when the switch is this side. When let us uh, let me uh, try to uh, zoom it to an extent so that you will be able to understand what is this switch operation that we are trying to do and then we will be able to better understand this. What I have done here is what I can see here that is voltage reference that is current reference IO2 IO3 here it given to the oscilloscope and it is coming from here also IO2 IO3 from the Arduino it is coming and we have made some internal arrangement where there is a voltage reference and there is a current reference like for example if this is a voltage reference what you can see this this voltage reference is about 5 volts and about uh, 10 millisecond is the this thing and pulse width is about 2 percent and that is what the voltage reference is given here. Similarly the current reference is also given here these are all internal when the current reference is also given here what we find here there is a 1 millisecond delay and uh, this side is 1 millisecond delay and there is another one which the, uh, which has got 3 millisecond delay. This one is 3 millisecond delay. When you see this, this is about 3 millisecond delay. So in the process what happens when the switch is this side, when the switch is this side, it takes from this internal voltage pulse, internal current pulse but are making an arrangement here of 1 millisecond and 3 millisecond. Now if I change it to the side, it goes to 3 millisecond delay. So in order to this is uh, in order to check the program, the nothing now we are not using this these functions at all. We are doing you using the internal functions. Now now let's come back to the circuit again, where we have uh, we have uh, some reset arrangement here. Any time in the program you can uh, drop it, you can uh, reset it so that the things will start from beginning. So uh, I hope you have understood the numeric values near the IC pins and numbers. Whatever number is given here, the same number you just refer, they are connected accordingly. The uh, relays are also connected from the output of the ULN2003, which is a relay driver IC, basically used for relay driving IC. And now let's come to the switch when the switch is in this side. When the switch is in this side, let's see what happens. In the, when the switch is this side, these things come into picture. These things come into picture. That means what happens? We have pulsating voltage coming here. This this develops zero voltage sense. Zero volt, actual zero voltage pulse, pulses it will be generating. And similarly, since the supply is here, and then we have the inductor, and then the city, and the, it passes the load passes through the city, 
and then we have a pulsating uh, DC pulsating voltage which will be developed here. So, same thing, not being filtered and then being compared with the comparator. So we get the current pulses. So this is the current sense. This is the voltage sense, actual. So, so when we switch on this, it goes to obviously it will go to linear mode, linear uh, arrangement. So this is what is the arrangement we are done as far as the actual circuit is concerned. Now let's come back. What we see, now let's try to see its operation. And power factor I am not going to explain much because everybody knows as far as the, uh, whoever is seeing this, we all know that the, when the current lags behind the voltage, the cos theta of that is, the, the cos theta of that is called power factor. So the, uh, there are so many videos or so many clarifications available on the net. So let me not go into details of that. I just wanted to uh, deal with the some practical aspect of this. So when we try to operate this, what you can see, when you try to operate this, what you can, this you don't, uh, uh, we will now take the switch to this side. When the switch is to this side, you know, this is, this has no relevance because this is uh, as far as the uh, other uh, supply is concerned. So what you are not, we are only concerned about this, that is voltage reference, current reference. What you can see here, to understand we are written here, voltage reference is red, that is voltage is red and uh, green is the current reference. What you can see, in the, since the switch is in 1 millisecond delay here, since the switch is in 1 millisecond delay, you can see the scale is 1. So we have a 1 millisecond delay here. Because of the 1 millisecond delay, what, is, what you can see, after some time, because this it takes time to certain, uh, uh, because with the 1 millisecond delay, the power factor is about 0.82. And uh, because there is an 18 degree, and then in the process, and then it try to correct to 0.95. But then since it is not moving to this side because we are not able to bring this capa actual capacitors into circuit. Though they are being shown here, they are not being actually connected to. What you can see when the relay is switching on, what you can see when the relay is switching on. Now, because it is, it is already assumed in the power factor, now it is again 0.82. So the relay started switching. Because it, since we are not able to achieve this uh, relay, actual capacitors coming into picture, so relays go on switching and then off so switching on and off, on and off, this will be doing. We will try to overcome this by some additional, some other circuit in the next slide. So this is what is the arrangement that we have done here. And similarly, when we change it to 3 millisecond, you can see there is a difference of 3 millisecond here. So don't look at this. This is for the actual circuit. So this is, there is a delay of 3 millisecond. And the, based on the 3 millisecond delay, what you can see, you wait for some time, the power factor becomes 0 0.59 as far as the calculation is concerned. And the once in the power 0 0.59, obviously the relays will go on switching on. Now the relays will go on switching on, maximum relays will be switched on. And in the process, the power factor will again come down to 1. So that is, but this will not shift. In actual practice, this will shift to here. But this will not shift here now is because the capacitors, the actual capacitors are not coming into picture. Right. Now see, the power factor has come to 0.99. So this is what, as far as the, uh, this testing of the program, testing of the code is concerned. And uh, we will now go over to arrangement of the actual uh, zero voltage and zero current sense here. Now let's see, go over to actual zero voltage and zero current sense. Okay, now we will stop this and then we'll change the switch to this side. Change. Now, what you say, what you can find? This zero voltage sense will be coming from here, ZVS written here. Now let's look into this in more detail. ZVS will be coming from here. ZCS will be coming from here. It is ZCS. ZCS will be coming from here. And in the process, the actual circuit will come into picture. That is the zero voltage sense and zero current sense. That means current will be lagging behind based on the switch position here. Now, we try to operate this and then we reset this. Now, this set is already done. Now, what you can see, this waveform is the actual waveform, which is there is a difference between voltage and current. You see, the, the, uh, the blue is the voltage reference. This blue is the voltage reference. And uh, the yellow is the current reference. The current reference. You can always see, I just a little uh, up and down, I have kept it. Now, if I take it to here, you can see there is a time lag. There is a time lag. And you can see it is trying to correct the power factor and then it has already corrected the power factor. And similarly, again, this is not shifting because the capacitors are actually not doing any work, but the relay is operating. The relay is operating. What you can see, the relays are operating. The capacitor is not doing any work. Now, this is as far as the inductive load is concerned. Now, when I bring it to the linear load, 
you see now the voltage and current are exactly in line with this you see now this is falling in the same line as far as the voltage and current is concerned you see now the voltage and current are in the same uh, line and uh, the power factor is 1 so this is the arrangement as far as the actual circuit is concerned but without the real capacitors coming into play now we will see an other arrangement where we will also see that as if the capacitors have been coming into picture so that for that we will see let's look at this circuit the same circuit we have not changed uh, anything excepting that instead of zero voltage which is coming from the zero voltage pulses but zero current zero current is actually being fed from a different place zero current actually we are giving from uh, uh, io3 is given here we are given different different a different different lagging current like here this is the lagging current zero this is one millis uh, this is four millisecond lagging this is three millisecond this is two millisecond this is one millisecond this is a zero millisecond so uh, once it goes on uh, reaching to a particular place it will get locked there because now it knows that it has reached the two millisecond delay or one millisecond delay so it goes to uh, finally current uh, voltage uh, the current will be in uh, uh, sync with the voltage now when we try to operate this what you can see here here what do you see you see now the voltage and the current because i have bypassed this now the voltage the initial values will be a little wrong because of the uh, time delay factor and all that sort of thing don't look at this initial values which is appearing appearing here and uh, after some time it will give you the actual value they will be giving some negative value and all sort of because it's uh, now they see in the power factor is 0 0.9 uh, 0.9 because the voltage and different and the uh, there is a uh, only one millisecond delay or something like that sort of thing and uh, see there is a delay here and in this process when the by when it is uh, bypassed here there is that uh, based on the uh, relay arrangement here you have the power factor which is improved now if you want to look into that other circuit the same thing happens when you go to the other circuit same thing what we had seen to look into this what we are done here we are the same thing when uh, this was operating when this was operating and uh, you see now the voltage current are in line exactly in line because there it was uh, the we have tried to achieve it by some providing some kind of arrangement but here the voltage and then you see when the, it comes to the inductive load now there is a time delay when based on the time delay the power factor comes into picture so this is what is the basic arrangement what we are done here and if you look at the code now if you go to the real code the sketch uh, we have the source code here which is based on the time delay which are given here and an actual time delay this will not be uh, required because all that you have to do you have to put capacitors here instead of putting capacitors i have given as if the capacitors are coming into picture and in the process this is already happening like that sort of thing now what we do is we see the code now in the code what we see uh, let me bring it to a place where it is visible okay right now the code is uh, we take voltage reference and current reference uh, at uh, pins and then we are taken relay at these pins which is driven by the uln 2003 then we are taken some uh, minimum uh, and maximum uh, power factor and then where then the, uh, the rest all which are very simple you can understand them very easily as far as the code is concerned so uh, this code is compiled here itself and in the process what you do you try to see the functioning of this so this is what is the basic of the power factor correction the as far as the theory part is concerned i suggest let's see operate this again and then uh, when i when i when i put this zero when they reset then the see it, the everything in the program starts from the zero this is the inductive load and this is the bypass load here with the uh, see now it comes in in line with the voltage and current it comes in line with it and it goes on changing like this because here again also the capacitors are not coming into picture so this is what is the basic functioning that we are trying to achieve thank you and please subscribe if you want to get more details please get in touch with us